In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Good morning, everyone. You're all very welcome as we come together today to offer the Mass of Resurrection for the repose of our sister Pauline. I welcome Father O'Shea, who is our parish priest, and all those who will be are not able to be with us today, but may be um, viewing the Mass online. So we'll all be together as we come to pray for Pauline. So mindful of God's goodness to us, and sometimes our own faults and our failures, we take a moment to bow our heads and ask God for his forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We bow our heads in prayer. O oh God, who have set a limit to this present life so as to open up an, etern an entry into eternity. We humbly beseech you that by the grace of your mercy you command the name of your servant Pauline to be inscribed in the book of life. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. First reading, a reading from the Book of Wisdom. The souls of the virtuous are in the hands of God. No torment shall ever touch them. In the eyes of the unwise, they did appear to die. Their going looked like a disaster. They're leaving us like annihilation. But they are in peace. If they experience punishment as men see it, their hope was rich with immortality. Slight was their affliction, great will their blessing be. God has put them to the test and proved them worthy to be with him. He has tested them like gold in a furnace and accepted them as a holocaust. They who trust in him will understand the truth. Those who are faithful will live with him in love, for grace and mercy await those he has chosen. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Fresh and green are the pastures where he gives me repose. Near riskful waters he leads me to revive my drooping spirit. Response. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. He guides me along the right path, he is true to his name. If I should walk in the valley of darkness, no evil would I fear. You are there with your crook and your staff, with these you give me comfort. Response. The Lord is my you have prepared a banquet for me in the sight of my foes. My head you have anointed with oil. My cup is overflowing. Response. Lord, shepherd, there is nothing I should want. Surely goodness and kindness shall follow me all the days of my life. In the Lord's own house shall I dwell forever and ever. Response. Lord, shepherd, I Second reading. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. We know that when the tent that we live in on earth is folded up, there is a house built by God for us, an everlasting home, not made by human hands, in the heavens. We are always full of confidence then, when we remember that to live in the body means to be exiled from the Lord, going as we do, by faith and not by sight. We are full of confidence. I say, and actually want to be exiled from the body, and make our home with the Lord. Whether we are living in the body or exiled from it, we are intent on pleasing him. For all the truth about us will be brought out in the law court of Christ, and each of us will get what he deserves for the things he did in the body, good or bad. The word of the Lord. Thanks to God. Thanks to God.
I am the resurrection and the life, says the Lord. Whoever believes in me will never die. Lord be with you. With your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God still and trust in me. There are many rooms in my father's house. If there were not, I should have told you. I'm going now to prepare a place for you. And after I've gone and prepared you a place, I shall return to take you with me, so that where I am, you may be too. You know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said, Lord, we do not know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Be seated, please. As I mentioned in the beginning, we come today together to give Pauline back to the Lord, to offer the Mass of Resurrection and today as we celebrate the Feast of the Holy Souls. We'll remember them, of course, all during the month of November, our loved ones, relatives, and friends who have gone before us. And that's where Pauline now is. She has joined all of them, their own, her own family and her own friends. And so we come to be with, um, with, with you today, um, especially her son Bart, her nieces, nephews, and then neighbors and friends who have come out as there was a good number uh, showing last night at the funeral home to pay their respects and to honor her. Pauline was one of eight children and coming from close by Thomastown in Kilfinnan and not moving that far to Mount Russell. But she, she was the last to leave the home because she took care of her father. And she lived just the regular life that any, any woman at the time would have lived there locally, in the farm, taking care of everything, the house, the animals, and as they all had a wonderful interest in, in, in taking care of the animals, the cows, milking them, all, all those things that were necessary in the home. So that's what she did. She was a homemaker all her life. And except for the last few years then, when she spent some time in the nursing home in Kilmalak, and then she was fine there. She, she, she was well taken care of, and she was happy there, and only a few days in the hospital. So she didn't have a long, long suffering or anything like that, which, as we know, is certainly a blessing. But all that being said, you know, um, there's always the sadness and the sorrow when you lose someone that you love, um, especially when you lose a mother. Um, she had a good long life, but still, that doesn't always make it easy. Um, she would have many blessings during her lifetime. And of course, her, her faith and her religion was so, you, you know, so important to her. Um, we remember she would have been very faithful. One of the main themes of the Old Testament is faithfulness. And we know God's people weren't always faithful. But um, that would be one of the things um, in regards to Pauline, her faithfulness to um, her friends around there, but especially to her religion, which was very, very important to her. And of course, you know, when we lose someone, it doesn't mean we forget them when they're gone from us. We remember them. And hopefully there are many, there will be many memories and stories that you share with others of the time that they lived and the things that happened. And, you know, we're hopeful. it keeps the person alive. 
you know, and, and, and they, they, I know they're gone, but yet they're alive within us. As long as we live, someone like that, someone is close to us, because that's what love is. And we remember the good things, you know, we remember the things that they did, you know, they would have been a special and unique kind of person. And so um, it, it, we, we are consoled with, it, it, with the words of the prayers today and the readings from the scriptures, you know, that there is hope at the end of all this. We know that that's where, you know, that that's what awaits all of us. One day we will leave this earth. We don't know when, we don't know where, we don't know how. And we're never, we're never assured that it's going to be an easy life. For the most part, we know life is difficult. There's always ups and downs and so on and so forth. And we learn to deal with those and we learn to cope with them. But we also appreciate the gifts and the blessings that come our way. And, you know, we need to sometimes just kind of sit back and think about those over, you know, the period of time. And family afterwards always, you know, they will remember those. They will remember the person that we are, you know, saying goodbye to and be thankful and grateful for their kindness and their care and their compassion. And so the readings tell us today, you know, there was a time when, you know, maybe we were afraid of death, that death was or something awful. But, you know, and, and that was there and you'd find that in the Old Testament, but not in the New Testament, not in the, in the words of Jesus and the example of him, because our God is not a God to be afraid of or anything like that. He's a God of love, you know, a kind and gentle God. And the Psalm says, the Lord is my shepherd. And, you know, um, the, the, the example of the good shepherd taking care of, of, of the flock. And so that's what, that's what we read about and that's what the readings tell us and that there is hope. Um, then the gospel tells us, you know, there's a place for all of us. You know, we, we judge ourselves harshly sometimes and we have this whole idea we're going to stand before God and, you know, will it be touch and go kind of thing, you know, whether we make it or not. It's not like that. You know, we lead good and good and wholesome lives. And there will be no, no question about it, because I'm sure that just as everyone else, as Pauline would have heard the Lord say, well done, good and faithful servant, welcome into your heavenly home. Because that's what it's about. This life is a journey, and it, it can be long or it can be short, and it's ups and downs. It's not, it's not a level road, it's as, the, as the scriptures tell us about Jesus, to prepare for him, to make the, make the path as easy as we can. And that's what we do as family and friends. We try to help each other along the way. And then at the end of all that, that's how we will be rewarded. We will be rewarded for the way that we lived our lives. And I'm sure that now Pauline has in, is enjoying that reward for her life. And so the reading, the scripture tells us that, you know, life isn't ended. It's a journey from one life to another. And we pass from that. And that's why, you know, we, we, we call it their passing. And so we give thanks today then for Pauline's life and for all the good things that she accomplished there. Thank you. So now we present our prayers and our intentions to God. Brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ has risen the dead and sits at the right hand of the Father, who intercedes for us, confident that he hears the voices of those who trust in the Lord Jesus, we join our prayers to his. In baptism, Pauline received the light of Christ, scattered the darkness now, and lead her over the waters of death. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Our sister Pauline was nourished at the table of the Savior. Welcome her into the halls of the heavenly banquet. Lord, hear us. Graciously hear us. Many friends and members of our families have gone before us, as we think of our husband Jimmy, and all deceased members of families who await the kingdom. Grant them an everlasting home with your son. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. The family and friends of Pauline seek comfort and consolation, as we think of you. Bart this day, heal their pain, dispel the darkness and doubt that comes from grief. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We're assembled here in faith and confidence to pray for Pauline. We give thanks for her life, her love, her service, her faithfulness, 
Strengthen our hope that we will live in the expectation of your Son's coming, where you'll bring us all together again. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. In just a moment, we might remember all our beloved, as this is the Feast of the Holy Souls, family, friends, neighbors, parishioners, all who died this past year. May they rejoice in the banquet of heaven, and may we know their love and their spiritual presence. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Loving God, giver of peace and healer of souls, hear the prayers of the Redeemer, Jesus Christ, and the voices of your people gathered in here in St. Patrick's Church this morning, whose lives were purchased by the blood of the Lamb. Sli forgive the sins of all who sleep in Christ, and grant them now a place of happiness, light, and peace in the banquet of heaven. To Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. <coughs> My sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of hands, praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Be near, O Lord, we pray to your servant Pauline, on whose funeral day we offer you this sacrifice of reconciliation, so that should any stain of sin have clung to her, or any human fault have affected her, it may by your loving gift be forgiven and wiped away through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ who is our Lord. In him the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned, that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as with our end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather the people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, 
gave it to his disciples, saying, Take thus, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take thus, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your Church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, and that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one Spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we obtain an inheritance with the elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with St. Joseph, our spouse, your blessed apostles, glorious martyrs, St. Patrick, and all the saints in whose constant intercession in your presence we will lie for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, your servant Francis our Pope, Brenda, and our bishop, the older bishops, all the clergy, for all of us gathered here, for all family and friends and communities, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family you have gathered this morning before you. In your compassion, O oh merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Remember your servant Pauline, whom you have called today from this world to yourself. Grant that she was united with your son, a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection, when from the earth he will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform a lowly body after the pattern of his own glorious body. To all other part, the brothers and sisters, as we remember her husband Jimmy, remember all deceased members of their families, we pray for all the holy souls in this feast of the holy souls today. And to all who are pleasing to you at our past in this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. And there we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, when every tear we wiped away from our eyes. For seeing you are God as you are, we should become like you and praise you without end. To Christ our Lord, to whom we bestow in the world all that is good. But through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And at the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. <coughs> thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not <coughs> into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, <coughs> glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostle, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord be with you always. With your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. May the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, that bring me to judgment and condemnation, but to your loving mercy be for me protection in mind and body and a healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe to eternal life. May the blood of Christ keep me safe to eternal life. We will bring Holy Communion to you in the seats, and if you wish to receive, just please stand. Thank you. Let us pray. 
Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that your servant Pauline, whom today has journeyed from this world, may by this sacrifice be cleansed and freed from sin, and so receive the everlasting joys of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. We will now have the final prayers of commendation. We will bless her with holy water, which recalls her baptism, and we will incense the coffin as a, uh, a, a sign of our prayers as joining each other and sending up to heaven. So before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of our sister Pauline. May our farewell express our affection for her, may it ease our sadness, and strengthen our hope that one day we shall joyfully greet her again when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even, even death itself. And so our response, receive her soul and present her to God Most High. Receive her soul. Saints of God, come to our aid. Hasten to meet her, angels of the Lord. Receive her soul and present her to God Most High. May Christ, who called you Pauline, take you to himself. May angels lead you to the bosom of Abraham. Receive her soul, present her to God most high. Eternal rest grant to Pauline, O Lord, and that perpetual light shall upon her. Receive her soul, present her to God most high. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. In your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our sister Pauline in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, she will rise with him on the last day. We truly give you thanks for the blessings and the graces and the love and the faithfulness which you bestowed upon Pauline in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn towards us Listen to our prayers. Open the gate of paradise to your servant Pauline and help us to remain to comfort one another with the assurance of faith until we all meet in Christ and we are with you and our sister Pauline forever and ever. Pauline, may the angels lead you into paradise now. May the martyrs come to welcome you and take you to the holy city, the new and eternal Jerusalem. May choirs of angels welcome you and lead you to the bosom of Abraham where Lazarus is born no longer, may you find eternal rest. Eternal rest. Grant to Pauline, O Lord, and let perpetual light shall upon her. May she rest in peace. Amen. In a few moments, we will come back out and we will take Pauline to her resting place.